So, I started producing my own music and writing songs back in 2012. Having a home music studio was the ultimate dream, but getting started was the tricky part. Being a beginner at the time, I only had a $300 budget, and you need to understand, I wanted everything. Studio monitors, MIDI keyboard, an awesome looking studio microphone. It all looked so perfect in my head, but unfortunately, it's not the way things turned out. While it did not happen because I was asking for too much or being unrealistic, it happened because I didn't know. I didn't know anything about recording equipment, I didn't know what I really needed for my music level or for my specific budget. I didn't know a lot of things. Today, I want to take a trip back in time. Go back to my beginner days where it all started and with the knowledge I have now, prove that I can have it all and set up the best $300 studio possible. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. And for those of you that haven't already, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below. Click on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Secondly, the links of all the products that we're going to be going through in today's video will be down in the description below. And then last but not least, please go and check out some of my new merch for all you music producers out there, including hoodies, long sleeves, short sleeve shirts, all of these cool things. I'll leave a link down below as well. But with Without any further ado, let's get into today's video and set up the perfect $300 studio setup. So the first thing that you're going to need to set up the perfect $300 studio setup is a laptop or PC. And in today's video, I'm not going to be including the laptop because it's way out of the $300 budget. And when I started in 2012, I already had a laptop and a guitar, so it wasn't included in my $300 budget. But for those of you starting out, if you do need a laptop as well, it will be pretty much impossible to get the setup we're looking at today for under $300. Secondly, I also haven't looked at any door or software for today's video but I will leave a link down below of the five best free ones that you can get to start out especially if you're a beginner. So the first piece of gear that we're gonna have a look at that falls under your $300 price bracket is an audio interface and the audio interface that I've picked for today's video is the Behringer Euphoria UM2. It costs around $50 and for those of you that don't know this is the middleman between your laptop and any gear you want to connect to your laptop like a guitar like a condenser studio microphone which requires a certain amount of phantom power to work this audio interface offers all of that and I know that M audio also has a $50 audio interface coming out pretty soon so I will be comparing those two in a future video and see which one is best for the price but for now the Behringer Euphoria UM2 is the option I went for. Connecting your audio interface to your laptop is also pretty simple. When you purchase this product, what you'll get is the audio interface itself and a USB-A connection that connects from the audio interface straight into the laptop. And for those of you that have a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air that doesn't have USB-A connections, you will need an adapter to make sure that you can connect this type of audio interface to your laptop. The next piece of gear that you'll need to make your $300 home studio setup perfect is a decent set of studio monitors. And the studio monitors that I've gone for are the PreSonus Eris E 3.5s. As I mentioned in many of my videos before, these are my favorite $100 studio monitors on the market by far. They sound amazing, they look amazing, and if you do end up upgrading in future, you'll still have a pair of these on your desk just because they sound so good. And it's a great way of just playing your song through another set of speakers that are going to give you a nice response. So these are the options I went for. In terms of connecting them to your whole setup, you will be connecting them to your audio interface. They come with a black and white or black and red connecting cable to connect the two studio monitors to each other. One studio monitor is an active monitor, so the amplifier and all the buttons and functions are on this active monitor, the one that I'm busy working on now. And then this monitor just connects with this cable all the way to the other passive monitor, which is just there to balance out the sound and make sure everything is nicely connected. 
So that cable connects these two monitors. The next thing that we have is our power supply. And this power supply obviously just gives our active monitor power because your passive monitor gets all its power and energy from this active monitor. So this one, the only cable that connects to it is that red and black cable. The rest all connects to here. And then connecting these studio monitors to your Behringer audio interface, what you will need is a cable that has RCA connections like these. And both of these RCA connections will go from your active studio monitor straight into the back of the Behringer audio interface. And that will leave us with a nice set of monitors for our $300 budget setup. Moving on to the next piece of gear that I've added to my $300 setup, and that is my microphone. And this microphone is a USB microphone costing around $50. It's an Okeo. And I actually did a review of the top five best microphones under $50 on Amazon and was really surprised with the quality of this microphone. The reason I picked this microphone over a lot of the other microphones is because of all the accessories it comes with. If you're on a budget and you don't have a microphone stand or any place to put a microphone stand, a microphone boom arm is a great option and it is included. A lot of you are probably asking the question, why did I go for a USB microphone if I have an audio interface that can pick up a condenser microphone? And the answer to that question is that I pretty much only had a $300 budget and for someone starting out, USB microphones are getting so much better every single year in terms of audio quality. And they're so much better than they were four or five years ago. So I would definitely say a USB microphone is a great place to start, especially for the price that you can get them at. And if you do want to upgrade in future, if you're a vocalist or something like that, you already have the audio interface so you can just focus on the mic. You don't have to buy both. So a great little microphone that really sounds good sets up nicely you just connect it straight to your desk with this mount this plugs in straight into your laptop which is on this side over here i'm actually gonna have to turn this around so that it makes a little bit more sense for you guys because it's facing me so put this on that side over here put this on this side over here and for this specific setup, you will need an adapter for me, especially because I only have two USB connections because I will be connecting another piece of gear via USB to my laptop. So I will need another adapter. And this is pretty much what this microphone looks like. It is nice in terms of the mount, like I said, and it's so nice to have when you are working, you can just pull it in front of your face, do the vocals or voiceover or recordings. And then when you're done, just put it away to the side. And for 50 bucks, you will not get a better product. So as I mentioned earlier, when setting up the microphone, I will be needing another USB connection because this specific laptop only has two. And the reason I need another USB connection is because the next piece of gear that I've added to my setup requires a USB connection as well. And that is a MIDI keyboard. The MIDI keyboard that I've gone for is the MIDI Plus AKM320, which comes with 32 keys, costing around $40. It's not the best MIDI keyboard at all, but it does cost $40. And at that price range, the keys are enough for those of you starting out in production, looking to make the creative side of things just a lot easier, having keys at your fingertips. It's not a MIDI keyboard to learn the piano or anything like that. It's for producing, beat making, and just having keys to be more creative. It has all the features of a normal MIDI keyboard except drum pads with a modulation wheel, a pitch wheel, octave buttons, transpose buttons, which other MIDI keyboards don't even have, this MIDI keyboard has. And it's all you need to start out and get the full $300 budget studio setup. And like I said earlier, it does connect with a USB connection as well. So if you do wanna have this whole setup, make sure you get an adapter to do just that. Anyway. Moving on to our final piece of gear that completes our $300 studio setup, and that is a set of headphones. A good set of headphones. And the reason I say headphones are so important is the fact that you can use them for so many things. You can use headphones for producing, for referencing, for being on the go. If you don't wanna to make too much noise and you're not allowed to make too much noise, headphones are your only option. If you wanna record vocals, you'll need headphones to monitor your voice. 
there's so many different things and reasons why you need a good set of headphones. And I always feel that headphones are even more important than studio monitors and MIDI keyboards and all these things because you are using them all the time. And for today's $300 studio setup, I've gone with the Audio Technica ATH M20Xs. They are amazing for $50. They are the best in the market for $50 when it comes to sound and comfort and all these things. And in order to connect your headphones to your setup, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is take this TRS connection and plug it straight into the front of the audio interface here on the right hand side. Everything is connected. You can adjust the volume with the knobs at the top. And that is pretty much it. But last but not least, it's not just all about the gear, it's also about how your setup looks. And just to add some aesthetic and a nice look to your setup, add some nice artificial plants on the sides as it will really help lighten up your place and just make it look better overall. Now, looking at the prices of all the gear put together, our audio interface costs around $50, our studio monitors cost around $100, our microphone with all its accessories costs around $50, MIDI keyboard costs around $40, and last but not least, our Audio Technica headphones cost around $50. And putting all of that together, it stays under $300. Obviously, I did not include the laptop, like I said earlier, to get a good quality laptop with a setup like this, under $300 is virtually impossible. But if you already have a laptop, you can start getting all of these other things together and have a nice setup for under $300. So that brings this video to an end of my ultimate $300 studio setup that I wish I had back when I started out in 2012. And if you have any questions about today's video, please leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Secondly, the links of all these products are down in the description below. And then last but not least, for all you music producers out there, please go and have a look at my merch. I have some really cool hoodies, long sleeves and shirts out there that I'm sure you would like. But other than that, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, subscribe down below and I will see you for another video next time.